Thank you. Oh, thank you. Wow, thank you. Hopefully we got that on video. Uh, no, uh, I'm Rich Davey, President of New York City Transit. Delighted to be here today with Mel Arroyo, who's our Chief Accessibility Officer, Sandra Bloodworth, who is our artist extraordinaire, uh, who selects and helps select all of the amazing public art we have throughout, uh, throughout our system. Um, I'm delighted to be here today uh, to announce, to talk about the continued investment that MTA and New York City Transit's making in the Penn District, but very, and very specifically uh, in our system to make sure that all of our customers can get to Long Island Railroad, can get to our subway system, to get to New Jersey Transit here. Um, this is a, yet another uh, example of our a commitment to ensure that all of our customers, particularly our customers who are disabled, can get into our system um, as we move to make our system 100% accessible in the coming years. Um, I just want to also thank Governor Hochul for her commitment to making sure that we are not waiting to invest in this area. Um, you know, there are big grand plans to transform the Penn District, but we are making investment today. We are not waiting. I had the opportunity last night to host a transit talk, which is when we go out and listen to customers um, on a couple, of, a couple of times a month to see what is on their mind. And last night here at this station, I'll tell you what was on their mind, was this amazing renovation that's occurring. Uh, we heard time and time again compliments uh, about what we're doing, uh, which we're excited about. I do also want to call out our contracting team who made this happen and our C&D uh, brethren, our construction development uh, folks, you can clap for them, exactly, who are continuing to deliver record investment in MTA across uh, our system. So while we had a very mighty uh, opening yesterday, uh, to me this is just as important for thousands of customers who are going to use our system. I want to uh, kick it over to Q to say a few words, and then and Sandra, and we're happy to take any questions uh, as well. But Q, go for it. Thank you so much, Rich. Good morning. My name is Pamela Roy, and I have the pleasure to serve as MTA's first Chief Accessibility Officer. Today is a wonderful day for all New Yorkers and tourists. We are here at our second busiest station in our system, and I am so proud of this new structure behind us, a new redundant elevator here at Penn Station servicing all of our customers, not only in New York City Transit, but also those customers in the Long Island Railroad. It is so important for me that we are rebuilding what access looks like in our stations. Where some people are rethinking Penn Station, we are rebuilding it and we are doing it now. And this is particularly important for me as a New Yorker with a disability. Now more than ever, the demand for our accessible features like elevators and ramp is the highest it's ever been because accessibility is truly universal. This is not only a new feature for persons with disabilities, or New Yorkers with disabilities, but also for parents and caregivers with strollers. And at this station, for all of the tourists who are coming through with luggage, all for whom a new elevator is a great asset. People are demanding to use of an elevator. I know because I have to wait so many times, I'm waiting to get into the elevator myself. So elevators like these ones, which are larger than the minimum requirements, are really a universal asset for everybody. So I am so thrilled to be rebuilding Penn Station now, today. Some people are thinking about doing it in the future. We're delivering this change today. And I'm so proud to, to say that we are doing it with our partners in CND, people like Matt Zetwalk, our, our project manager, and all of the construction team from Skanska and, and other groups who are here. Now, another great announcement that we're about to hear today is our beautification projects, because we're not only talking about rebuilding Penn, we're also talking about a better experience for a model from all sides. We heard the governor talk about opening up the gates to heaven and the lights and the new enhancement here at Penn Station. We're also making it beautiful because accessibility should be beautiful. So I'm so proud to have Sandra Bloodwork here from our art and design team to talk about this new piece of artwork behind us. Thank you, Sandra. Do you want to say some words? Thank you, Q, and thank you, Richard. Uh, this is a phenomenally exciting day because I'm so proud that today we have artwork here with this accessible location. Uh, thrilled. And I join Quimel in celebrating that. Now, it's not just artwork, it's very special artwork. It's, of course, you know, I think all of the art we do in all the stations is special, but this one in particular. This one at this location, because in our program, the one thing we ever ask artists to do is to create work for our customers, create work for those who are gonna use this place, and of course, New Yorkers always. 
So here in this location, we are looking at the work of Diana Al-Hadid, the artist. It's called, the title of it's called The Time Telling. And she was inspired by this, this historic, iconic photo of the entrance of the original Pennsylvania Station and by Alfred Eisenstadt. And this inspired her and she wanted to recapture that, to capture that for this moment and for the people who are here today. So I'm gonna walk you through it just a little bit. Here you see, if you, when you see on the lower level of the mosaic, you see there's people rushing through the station. And then as you come up, the architecture draws you in. But front and center is the clock. And even though the clock, it looms large, and even though it's a timepiece, the, the precise time of it is obscured. And this piece sort of grounds us in this moment in history, but it also ties us to the present, to today. And so I want to thank the artist, Diana Al-Hadid, couldn't be with us today, but for bringing the clock back, for the clock to be here now as our commuters come and as they enter Penn. Uh, you know, public art, people wonder, why, why is the MTA putting art? Well, art connects us, art engages us, art grounds us in the place where we are. And you know, when you're traveling the New York City subway and our rail system, you want to be connected. Our writers want to be connected. And you know, I never have to tell an, a New Yorker why art's important. They know why art's important. Our customers, our customers are the ones who know why we have art in our system, and they appreciate it. So I want to thank some people today. I, I thank Diana. I want to thank Cheryl Hagman, our, our deputy director, and who was a project manager on this. An excellent job. And of course, the whole team, the fantastic team with Matt and JoLynn, just an amazing group of people. But I particularly want to talk, uh, thank the people who make this happen. Richard Davey, who supports the art, and of course, Kumel, who understands how important it is to have art in these accessible locations. So I thank you all for acknowledging and for recognizing how important the art is. And thank you, Diana. Thank you so much, Sandra. I'd also be remiss if I didn't give a shout out to our advocates standing behind me, uh, the Gray family, uh, uh, Chris, who's our, an active member, and Deborah. Uh, uh, thank you so much for being here. This is how true change happens, working together with our advocates and, and, and our customers. Um, I'd also like to give a couple of words in Spanish for, for our, our Spanish-speaking writers and community. Buenos días. Para mí es un gran placer estar aquí hoy abriendo nuevas elevadores aquí en Penn Station. Eh, eh, particular este elevador que está aquí atrás de nosotros es nuestro segundo elevador de las calles entrando a la estación aquí en Penn Station. Accesibilidad es universal y no solo para personas con discapacidad, así como yo, personas que necesitan eh, ascensores, pero pa también para padres y esos que cuidan personas en sillas de ruedas, en coches y los turistas, la gente que pasan por esta estación. Esta es la segunda estación eh, eh, con más tránsito en nuestro sistema y sirve para personas con maletas, con bultos, que están viajando, entrando por Nueva York, y ese es el acceso que ellos también necesitan. Estoy extremadamente eh, eh, honorado que está aquí, estamos aquí con Rich Davy, el presidente de New York City Transit, que también entiende esta necesidad para todos nuestros usuarios, y le doy las gracias a Rich y a Sandra, que está aquí hablando de las nuevas piezas de arte, porque la accesibilidad puede ser bella. Y aquí estamos viendo unas nuevas piezas de arte que traiga esa belleza aquí a Penn Station. Así que muchas gracias a todos ustedes por estar con nosotros. And, and now we can go to some Q&A with Rich.